It is often helpful to think of an atom as consisting of a positively charged central nucleus with negative electrons orbiting around in shells in a circular motion. However, this is now believed to be a rather simplistic model. Electrons are now believed to occupy orbitals. As we will see, there are different types of orbital which have different shapes. You need only know the shapes of two orbitals, the s orbital and the p orbital in AS chemistry. The s orbital is spherical in shape and not circular. Each s orbital can accommodate two electrons with opposite spins. At any instance in time, an s electron is probably located somewhere within the spherical region. P orbitals have a three-dimensional dumbbell shape with the center at the nucleus. There are three p orbitals. One lies across the x-axis, another runs at right angles to this along the y-axis, and the third orbital runs at right angles to these two along the z-axis. Each p orbital can accommodate two electrons with opposite spins. There are therefore a maximum of six p electrons in a p subshell. It is convenient to represent orbitals using boxes and arrows to represent electrons. Let's look how this can be done for oxygen, which has eight electrons. Two electrons in shell n equals one, that's the innermost shell, and six electrons in shell n equals two. The innermost shell n equals one is made up of only one s orbital. It can therefore accommodate a maximum of two electrons, providing the spins are opposite. We represent the spins of electrons with the arrows. The next shell, n equals 2, is made up of a single s orbital and three p orbitals. When filling these orbitals, there are a few rules. Firstly, you fill the orbitals that have the lowest energy first. In this case, the s orbital is filled before the p orbitals. So we fill the s orbital first with two electrons with opposite spins, and then start filling the p orbitals. Here is another rule. Electrons occupy orbitals singly before pairing up. The first three electrons will therefore occupy separate orbitals. The fourth electron will pair up since there is no available empty orbital at this energy, but the spin of this fourth electron will need to be in the opposite direction. We would write the electronic configuration of oxygen as 1s2, 2s2, 2p4. The 1s representing the 1s subshell, the 2 superscript representing the 2 electrons contained in the 1s subshell, the 2s representing the 2s subshell, the 2 superscript representing the 2 electrons contained in the 2s subshell, the 2p representing the 2p subshell, and the 4 superscript representing the 4 electrons contained in the 2p subshell. The number of different types of orbital for each shell can be worked out from the shell number or principal quantum number as it is also known. For the shell n equals 1, there is only one type of orbital the s orbital. This orbital can accommodate a maximum of two electrons with opposite spins, so the maximum number of electrons the shell n equals 1 can accommodate is two electrons. The n equals 2 shell has two types of orbital, an s orbital and three p orbitals. Each of these orbitals can contain a maximum of two electrons, so a full n equals 2 shell contains a total of eight electrons. The n equals 3 shell has three types of orbital, s P and D. A full n equals 3 shell therefore contains 18 electrons. The n equals 4 shell has four types of orbital, S, P, D and F. A full n equals 4 shell therefore contains 32 electrons. You will notice the number of orbitals within each subshell increases by 2 each time. When filling up orbitals with electrons, you need to be careful since there is overlap between some of the shells. If we look at the energy levels between n equals 1 and n equals 4 and how these are split into subshells, we see the 4s subshell is lower in energy than the 3d subshell. This means the 4s subshell will fill with electrons before the 3d subshell. Let's look at an example working out the electronic configuration for titanium which has an atomic number of 22. This means we have 22 electrons to distribute. Let's draw out the subshells and orbitals in order of increasing energy. We have the 1s, 2s, 2p, 3s, 3p, 4s and 3d. Note how the 4s comes before the 3d. We now need to add 22 electrons 
remembering to start with the lowest subshell and add electrons singly to each orbital before pairing up and making sure when the electrons are paired they have opposite spins. The electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2 and 3d2. One way to work out the filling order of subshells is to write out the subshells in a list in a triangular shape like this and fire arrows diagonally going down. The order in which the arrows strike the subshells give you the filling order.